Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series of class 11 physics. I am following the NCERT physics book part 1. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 2.13 from the chapter number 2. So in this problem, we are given that a physical quantity P, that is this is a physical quantity, is related to four observables. That means this a, B, C and D. These are the four observables. That means this quantity P is a function of these four observable values. So we are given with this relation. So these A, B, C and D are related to P using this relation. So what we have to do now? The percentage error in the measurements in A, B, C and D are 1% for A, 3% for B, 4% for C and 2% for D. These are the given percentage error in the measurement. So what is the percentage error in the quantity P? So we have to find out the total percentage of the quantity P, total percentage error in the quantity P. So if the value of the P calculated using the above relation turns out to be 3.763, what value should you round off the result for rounding off you have to look at the percentage value if the percentage value has two significant figures you have to round off up to two significant digits okay the whatever be the percentage error in p and if you have suppose three significant figures then you have to round off this value that is 3.763 into three significant digits so first of all what we are given so in this problem we are given that p is equal to a cube b square divided by root over c into d so this is the relation between this observable a b c and d and the quantity p okay so this is the given relation between them now suppose the error in p is delta p that means the error can be either positive or negative okay suppose the error value in p is delta p now if we want to find out the relative error we have this much of error in this quantity measurement okay so this error if we calculate in relative to p then what will have so is equal to what will be the relative error so what is the error value we have that is delta p and with respect to what with respect to the quantity p so this will be the relative error value so we have found out the relative error now in the question we are given that the error value are given in the percentage form here you can see these are these all are in percentage form so we have to express this relative error in p in percentage therefore we can write percentage error in p so what will be the percentage error this was the relative error so we have to multiply with 100 okay so delta p divided by p into 100 so this is the percentage error in p so in the question we are given that the observables that is a b c and d these are the observables they are given in percentage form so we have to calculate the percentage error in a percentage error in b percentage error in c and the percentage error in d and from that we can find out the percentage error in capital p okay that is the given quantity okay let me write down here so here we can write percentage error in a will be delta a divided by a into 100 this is the percentage error and this percentage error is given to be what is the percentage error in a so this is one person okay so here we can write it is one person now if we want to find out the percentage error in a cube we have a cube a cube means that means we have a multiplied with a multiplied with a so we will have three times the error in a so 3 into error in a okay so what will be the three times error in a so 3 whole into delta a by a into 100 so this will be the percentage error in a cube similarly we can find out the percentage error in b square percentage error in 
b square what will be the percentage error in b square so here we'll have because we have b square so this two will come here two times the error in b okay so two into delta b divided by b into 100 this much of percentage errors similarly percentage error in we have root over c root over c is nothing but c to the power 1 by 2 so whatever we have in power it will come into the coefficient half into error in c okay so here we will have half into delta c divided by c into 100 this much of percentage error now percentage error in d we do not have any power in this d d is a observable quantity okay so in d we'll have the error in d percentage error in d is equal to directly we can write it as delta d divided by small d into 100 this much of percent okay so these are the percentage error in the observable quantities we are given that this is one given quantity okay this is one percentage error is one percent so for b okay we can write here delta b divided by b this is as per the question okay so delta b by b into 100 percent into 100 is equal to it is given as per the question that it is 3 percent <coughs> because you can see here b 3 percent okay let me show with another color this is 3 percent for c it is 4 percent for d it is 2 percent okay so let us write down here so delta b by b into 100 percent is equal to 3 percent delta c by c into 100 percent is equal to this is 4% okay 4% delta d by d into 100% is equal to we have this is 1% so this is 2% okay so these are the given quantities now if we want to find out the maximum error in p okay maximum error in p will be given by the addition of these observable errors okay so here we can write so what will be the expression delta p by p into 100 this is the percentage error in p this will be equal to either positive or negative so here we have written the plus minus because the error may be in the positive direction or in the negative direction are you getting my point suppose you have a suppose accurate value is true value is suppose 4 if the error is in left direction then it is a negative error if the error is in positive direction then it is a positive error okay so in this way we have to consider the both signs in the question we are not given about the type of error it is a it may be positive or negative okay so here we can write plus minus 3 into delta a by a into 100 plus next we have 2 whole into delta b by b into 100 plus from where we are getting this point these are the points okay so these are the points 3 2 into this much one half into this much and this one values okay just we are writing it here okay so next we have half into delta c by c into 100 okay and next we have plus delta d by d into 100 so we do not have any coefficients here so here we can write plus minus so 3 into this delta a by a into 100 so what is the value delta a by a into 100 is equal to this is nothing but one person okay so here we can write 3 into 1 plus 2 into delta b by b is equal to this one three person okay so 2 into 3 plus half into delta c by c into 100 is this one value so it is four person plus 
delta d by d into 100 this is 2 percent so here we'll have 2 okay now if we simplify we will have this will to be plus minus so 3 into 1 it is 3 plus 6 it is 9 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 2 is 13 so we have this is 13 percent so this much of error is there in this much of percentage error is there in the quantity capital p so as a as the result this percentage error has two significant digits one is the uh, this digit one and another is digit three okay so we have to express the given results in two significant digits so we have here as the percentage error result has two significant figures why two significant figure this is one significant figure this is second significant figure so we have to round off the 3.763 value into two significant figures okay so therefore we will have the answer in two significant figures so here we will have 3.8 why 8 because the digit you can see here this 6 is greater than 5 and we have to add 1 into the preceding digit that is 7 we have to increment by 1 so here we have 3.8 this is the solution of the problem number 2.13 from the chapter number 2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you